आज जो हम शुरू कर रहे हैं ये अल्फा टर्पियन जो लास्ट टाइम हम वी हैव डन ए साइक्लिक मोनोटर्पिनाइड वी आर ट्राइंग टू एट लीस्ट चेक एट लीस्ट वन सिंपल एग्जांपल फ्रॉम ईच क्लास दिस नाउ नाउ वी आर टेकिंग द एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस अल्फा टर्पियन यू नो इज द साइक्लिक मोनोटर्पिनाइड लास्ट टाइम ए साइक्लिक मोनोटर्पिनाइड दैट वाज द सिट्रल that was the the most important member of this, that class now now this is the alpha alpha terpene you the cyclic uh, monoterpenoid we said there is another menthol which is again more important than this one but we have this in syllabus alpha terpene you that is we are not studying the menthol and instead of menthol we are now studying here is alpha terpene you alpha terpene you is the most again common the uh, compound of this class cyclic monoterpenoid cyclic we say cyclic monoterpenoid terpenoid so now here naturally it is found in the natural oils of 150 plants uh, mostly 150 plants such as pine oil and painted grain painted grain actually it is the oil from the bitter orange tree bitter orange tree oil that contain the we say that is known as painted grain also it is from the pine oil and it is the most other there are other we are now this alpha terpenoid Actually, there are four which are isomers: alpha terpenol, beta terpenol, gamma terpenol, and the fourth one. Fourth one is known as uh, four terpenol. There is one word is uh, uh, sometimes it is written terpenol, terpenol. So terpenol is another thing. Not be confused with the terpenol. It is terpenol, terpenol, terpenol. There are four isomers of terpenol. One is alpha. We are saying most most common and most important is alpha terpenol. Otherwise, beta terpenol, gamma terpenol, four terpenol. These are also present in the along with this one. And mostly, it is used. Uh, uh, we say commonly it is used in the synthesis of or manufacturing of cosmetics, soaps, perfumes, antiseptic agents, etc. It is acetate and simple esters. Like acetate, propionate, benzoate. These are the simple esters. These are mostly used in scent for perfumes. Uh, it's also sometimes it uses therapeutic agent like anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-microbial. These are the common you see it's, uh, uses. Otherwise, plants naturally, as I told you, this is present in the oils like such such as pine oil and patent green. Uh, it is also found in cannabis, lilacs. These are the biological compounds. Lilac, lime blossoms, eucalyptus sap, pine tree. These all plants. We can't call the names of all 150 plants, but these are the most common plants which contain the the alpha terpenol. Alpha terpenol. It is not actually. It is alone. But it is present in along with the all, all three other isomers. So total, we say four isomers are present. And most common and most important one is the alpha terpenoid. So now it is the monoterpenoid. Which monoterpenoid? Cyclic monoterpenoid. Terpenoid. Actually, when it occurs, it is occurs in racemic mixture. Naturally, it is present in the racemic mixture. Racemic mixture. Which is also known as racemic modification. Modification. Sometimes we can call racemic modification or racemic mixture as well. It's something. Some groups you they, you will find it there is racemic modification. Some they will write the racemic mixture. So racemic mixture and racemic modification. It is one and something. The opposite of the racemic. How the racemic mixture is formed? By the equal by mixing equal amounts of two optically. Optically active isomers. If one is levo, 50% levo, 50% uh, dextro, or 50% minus and 50% plus, 
that will be the racemic mixture. The process is known as racemization, and the opposite to racemization is the resolution. So now the racemic mixture is optically inactive due to the internal compensation. We can internally compensate it. Once it is, we are get the, the internal compensation, then we can resolve the compound. By resolution, again we can convert the uh, uh, resumic mixture into plus and minus forms or dextro as well as DO form. And now it is at, we say, a solid but at a very low temperature. It is solid, its melting point is 35 degrees. So means at room temperature, if the temperature increases more than 35 degrees, it becomes liquid. At the molecular composition is concerned, it is C10, H18, H, and O. And this we know it is monocyclic. Now, what happens when it is treated with sulfuric acid? Like last time we have used the uh, say potassium hydrogen sulfate. Here, sulfuric acid when it is sulfate, heated with sulfuric acid warm. See, heated with sulfuric acid, some of there are fragmentation take place, and one of the fragment that we are after that is parasimine. Parasimine. Now you know parasimine. Actually, it is aromatic compound. Parasimine is the aromatic compound. Now parasimine. Commonly, we, last time I told you it is paramethyl cumin or paramethyl isopropyl benzene or one methyl. Oh, sorry. Uh, 4 methyl, 1 isopropyl benzene, we can also call it 4 or para isopropyl uh, toluene. So now, when this compound is obtained, and we know its molecular weight is, let's say, uh, CN, H2N, it is the uh, corresponding the CN, H2N. It is either we say it is open chain alkene or cyclic compound. If you say plus two, it will be alkane. So now here, this we know this compound is cyclic. So we say it is cyclic or cycloalkane. This is belonging to the group cycloalkanes. Or we can say it is there are uh, cycloalkanes. They are also known as monocyclic compounds. So we say alpha type in is monocyclic. Now what happens? So now here. Uh, when we say this parasimine is obtained, when parasimine it's it's aromatic compound, and this is you see this formula is corresponding to the cyclic saturated formula. So now we see it's saturated analog will have this compound, this formula. That is we say now one, two, three, four, four methyl, one isopropyl cyclohexane. And commonly it is known as paramenthane. Commonly it is known as paramenthane. Paramenthane. If aromatic. Ji baba. Parasimine jo baba hota hai. Ha. Parasimine jo baba hota hai. Parasimine hai to baaki khabar pahi thi. Cycle alkane maan ek dala ya cycle alkane contain karne. Ha sahi. Ha cycle al. ट uh, total number of carbon and hydrogen when it was determined. The number of hydrogen we say if only if, if you take the ring of benzene ring, then six carbon, six hydrogen. But if you take the example of cyclohexane, then number of hydrogen will be double. C six H twelve. That is C N H two N. Means C N H two N. If it is obeying this formula, it means this compound is saturated. Although this portion was obtained, so means a basic structure was just like this. due to the heating with the sulfuric acid, the paramenthane structure or isopropyl methyl cycloxane was aromatized. So some sulfuric acid is used for the aromatization, sometimes cyclization. 
So here, when aromatization is taking place, when this compound cyclohexane is aromatized, we get this paramethyl is converted to parasimine. So parasimine was obtained when the uh, alpha tapinol was heated with the sulfuric acid. As means one of the portion of the uh, alpha terpenol. This contains this type of structure. But actually, this is not the original structure. And this structure happened when the alpha terpenol was heated by the, by the sulfuric acid. And molecular composition, the content of hydrogen carbon, then it was determined that it was obeying this formula. That is CNH2. And this is not belonging to the, this is not corresponding to the aromatic compound. It means the structure is basic structure this one, but actually this is saturated, not unsaturated. That is why we say if you make it a saturated compound, this if you make it this compound in saturation, then this compound is obtained. That is paramethane. It is para. Sometimes students are getting confused. It is paramethane. It is parasimine. What is the difference between paramethane and parasimine? Parasimine is the aromatic compound. Paramethane is it's non aromatic or alicyclic or saturated analog. So now this formula, total content of carbon and hydrogen, they were obeying this formula. That is why we told that this compound is saturated. Saturated means it contains six carbon G. Sir, Further the determination case that the cover by the opera Simon structure to the pair of Simon Wangara or who aromatic Nakoi Wojiko who unsaturated or saturated the bone of saturated very pair of the you are pair of methane. Yes, now you put a position in my cover by the position methyl group, isopropyl projected group, only a position in career. Jagger a pair of no idea, and the other way to meta with you. It is a type of pair of. Parasimine mana in a mini position with respect to each other, position in one four position. And one four position, the Michabar Pera Jonas. Yes, sir. The basic structure of the parasimine term, Undu Uma Yas cover pay, then the cyclic structure, the cast six member. BSI carry information will it be information? You believe in my methyl isopropyl group, only position take a one four position. Jadi ada determine kalau sih ini hydrogen carbon content unum aku berpikir dengan ini juga sejuta dia, ansejuta dia. Tapi jadi hipo reaction asal yang jauh kerana sih jika bromine sah kerana sih. Atau akan ada bromine reaction cari kerja apa? Double bond check kan, ansejuta. Double bond check, yes yes. So now when the alpha terpenol was treated with the bromine. Then two bromine atom or one bromine atom uh, molecule was added. Two bromine atoms or one bromine uh, molecule was added to form the addition of dibromo compound. It means and dibromo compound. And this suggested that the compound contains the double bond, but, but one double bond. Now it is not decided whether the double bond is present inside the ring or outside the ring. The ring the double bond may be present over here, it may be present over here, it may be present over here, it may be, these are the different positions. But one thing is confirmed that there is double bond. There is double bond is present in the structure of the alpha tapinol. Further, we will decide whether what is the position of the double bond. But the addition of bromine confirmed that there is one double bond. Now one thing, we use this formula, then another thing is, we say this is saturated, not aromatic. It is non-aromatic. Another thing is it contains double bond. Now we don't know the position of double bond. Second thing is when the it when acetylation was carried out, and acetylation is carried out for what purpose? To confirm the position of the the, the, uh, the say, uh, presence of either amino group or hydroxy group. We we use the acetylation. For the purpose of to determine the amino group or the uh, hydroxy group. When the elemental detection was carried out, the nitrogen was absent. When the elemental detection, the basic uh, preliminary test done, we use the uh, sodium extract. Then you perform the test. From those tests, it was confirmed that there is no nitrogen. And even then, it was undergoing the acetylation. 
it means it contain the hydroxy group so hydroxy group was confirmed by the acetylation once the hydro hydroxylation was confirmed then it was again it was treated with the different reactions simplest reaction is when oxidation and this compound was not undergoing the oxidation it means there are other reactions you know the reactions of reactions which are easily undergone by the primary by tertiary by secondary and finally by using the chemical reaction it was confirmed that oh is present but oh is a tertiary in nature nature of the oh group is tertiary so now two reactions that is now bromination and the tertiary dihydroxy group then the positions of these functional groups that is double bond and tertiary the प्राइमरी so when it was subjected to oxidation no oxidation took place it means the this company nature of hydroxy group was tertiary there are other reactions jekra aur reaction aur tar reaction par kare jo kaun reaction is tak khabar ho jo primary ek gran secondary ek gran tertiary gran ye kya yaad bolta hai ye kya hai yaar ya kare do par simple hai ye jo ko karna hai to ye jo na yaad hai na kare na कार्बन डाइ it means the oh is converted to carboxylic acid if it is ketone the, the secondary alcohol it will be converted into ketone and ketone cannot be further oxidized tertiary alcohol it cannot be oxidized so now we say the nature of the alcohol or oh group was tertiary so now here now again the problem is as i told you in case of double bond now the double bond there is a hydroxy group now there is a problem of position of position of double bond as well the tertiary alcoholic group this was a problem first it was it was confirmed it contain the para methane structure then this was confirmed that this contain the one double bond and then it was confirmed that it contain the tertiary hydroxy group And this was ascertained or confirmed by scientist Wallach. Actually, these reactions or these propositions are always determined by making research. So one researcher, scientist, he was doing the work on the structure of this alpha terpenoid in 1893 and then 1905. His work was published. first work was published in 19 1897 as a research paper then he published another uh, research paper research article in 19 uh, 1895 in which he tried to he say assign the positions of the double bond and a hydroxy group and you know we have used the different reactions last time different methods of uh, chemical methods are used but here the most common methods here they were used in in, in a particular in, ter, in terpenoid chemistry they are the oxidative de de degradation oxidative de de degradation this is the one of the type of reactions when the oxidative uh, degradation is carried out then different fragments are obtained by studying the, the structures of those fragments now we can say which compound or which group is lying at which position so now when he published a, uh, the work then in his work the one scheme he he proposed one scheme let me write that scheme a chart 
he gave a chart. So I'm just writing that chart. And I read that in the other heat. A lot of the idea to live with tea. And I read that. So there was a chart in which he proposed this one. That is now alpha tertium. That contains how many carbons? Feet. Ten. So you can write this total number of here. Ten, H, ten, H, eighteen, O. Then he treated this compound with the one percent alkaline potassium permanganate. Wallace. This is the work of according to the work research work of Wallace. And uh, then he went, when he treated this compound alpha terpenol with the one percent alkaline came in four. You know when the double bond is present. Normally we use either bromine or potassium permanganate. So if the bromine is used, dibromo compound is obtained. If the KMnO4 is used, like this one. If the double bond is present between the two carbon, if you use bromination, dibromo compound is obtained. If the if you use KMnO4, then what happens? Hydroxylation will take place. Dihydroxy compound or glycol is obtained. This is the main reaction of the. Whenever you are asked, you double bond the compound, double bond and compound contain unsaturation. If it is treated with the bromine, we get di one two dibromo compound. We can call it as vicinal dibromide is obtained. When say if same double bond compound is treated with the KMnO4, then hydroxylation will take place. Then we will get the vicinal dihydroxy compound or one two dihydroxy compound. There are also no gly glycol or glycolic bond. He, these are alcoholic salt, alcohol, the OH is not known as glycolic OH. So now when this compound was treated with the 1% alkaline potassium, otherwise terpene is the terpenes. Terpene, they are insoluble in water. But when alkaline, in the potassium hydroxide prepared in sodium hydroxide or potassium liquid hydroxide, then it was resolved. So the compound obtained was here C10, we say, we give the number 1. Then another number two compound was obtained, which has C10, the element, the content H20O3. This this is compound compound number three or two. This two compound was obtained. So what was actually happening? Hydroxylation was happening. Here try hydroxy. Compound was obtained. We know one hydroxy is already there. The terpene will contain the one hydroxy group. We will again discuss in detail. But now here you see one hydroxy group is already there. Here trihydroxy compound is produced. Trihydroxy means one hydroxy is already there. Here now this trihydroxy two more hydroxy groups are added. It means that again this is confirmed that two uh, one double bond is present across which the hydroxylation take place. Then this was treated with the chromic acid, and chromic acid we know the we can use chromic acid. We can prepare the chromic acid either by adding the chromic chromium trioxide, which is solid, in sulfuric acid or in acetic acid. If there is, you see, chances of the oxidation of compound, the degradation of compound, that the uh, the you say, uh, original compound, if you say original compound will be destroyed. Then we use the chromic acid in acetic acid. If you require stronger oxidation, vigorous oxidation, then we we'll use the chromic chromium trioxide in acetic acid. So now, when this compound number two, it was treated with the chromic acid, that is the chromium trioxide in acetic acid, then the compound obtained was here number three. We say here number three compound was obtained. Uh, let me write here, which was. Actually, this was intermediate keto hydroxy acid. Keto hydroxy acid. Here, now this was the third compound. And when this third compound, when it was, this is further. Uh, this reaction was, uh, uh, we say, uh, kept for longer time. Same oxidizing agent. We use same oxidizing agent. 
set and it was proceeded for further time for longer time it was kept then it was obtained a keto lectin was obtained keto lectin was up keto lectin was obtained and this we say it compound number 4 again this is the keto lectin lectin you know eolite eolite but which is eolite keto it contain the ketonic group as well as lectin and when this keto lectin we get the number number 4 when it was treated this keto lectin it was warm uh, it was treated with the alkaline uh, al uh, warmed with the we say warmed with the alkaline same potassium permanganate here i am just writing the scheme but it is not when we are doing the research then it is not so easy here one compound is obtained then its structure is confirmed all parameters of this compound is obtained then it is finally isolated then it is treated with this compound once we treated this compound whatever the compound is obtained then its structure is confirmed it is isolated separated then further it will be treated with the under with the further reagent so now when this compound was uh, uh, then we got the here the compound number here five here four the here one acid was obtained that acid plus we say here acid a one acid was obtained plus acetic acid actually this name the compound was terpenoic terpenoic this acid terpenoic acid was obtained along with this there was acetic acid terpenoic acid plus acetic acid was now we give the number 2 it is number 4 and finally when this was treated with the potassium permanganate again here warm with with this compound we got the terpenoic acid plus acetic acid then it was separated the terpenoic acid was separated isolated and dried then again only terpenoic acid this was treated with the potassium permanganate same the function of potassium permanganate is the oxidation so now it was obtained it was really a fourth uh, the final compound of, that was a terpenic acid here finally terpenic acid was obtained so this was the scheme actually this was the scheme it was suggested by the wallach his and his work was published in 19 Here, 1890. I have told 1983 and 95. Now, here, what was happened? Now, here was the scheme. Here is a lectin. For since the there was isolated here hydroxy. Uh, where is this one? This is the lectin. Lectin. Okay. So now it was obtained that this lectin was isolated. and you know how lectones are formed actually lectones are formed by the lectonization of hydroxy carboxylic acid when hydroxy carboxylic acid undergoes cyclization by the removal of water then lectones are produced this process is known as lectonization just you uh, keep in your mind what is the lectonization whenever the uh, hydroxy carboxylic acid they undergo cyclization by the removal of water always we will get the lectones for example if we say propionic acid here simple example is pro propionic acid now if you remove the hydrogen from here by the oh group now we said the 1 2 3 are alpha beta so actually it is hydroxy hydroxy propionic acid now same compound if i write in this way here ch2 ch2 here ch2 here ch2 you say number 2 here number 3 if i write oh on this position and then carboxylic acid with carbon number 1 carbon number 1 and with carbon number 1 2 groups are there which groups one is CO and other is again OH. So now this is the different presentation. Otherwise, this compound, this compound both are same. This is beta hydroxy propionic acid. This is also beta hydroxy propionic acid. 
We can call this 3 hydroxy propanoic acid, it's also 3 hydroxy propanoic acid. Now, if this compound, you see from this compound, if you remove this compound, you see 2H and 1 hydroxy group. Here, uh, uh, 2H and 1 oxygen. H2O. This will be removed. So, remaining band is only O. O will be attached with this carbon atoms. So, now water molecule is removed. I write here in this way. Water molecule is removed. So now we will get this compound. And this is no lactone. Like Which lactone? Like lactone like of beta hydroxy propionic acid. It is the lactone like of, now you see, alpha beta. So it is the lactone like of, it is the like beta lactone. Like beta lactone like of beta hydroxy propionic acid or 3 hydroxy propionic acid. What will be the name? We can also either you call it lectone or olide. Which olide? We said 1, 3 propanolide. Or beta, how many carbons are there? 3. For 3, you see? Pro, here, propanolectane. Lectone. Beta propanolectone or 3, uh, 1, 3 pentanolide. Again, if you increase the number of carbon, CH2, then this is beta and gamma. Here also we will increase the number of carbon atom. Same type of reaction will take place. 1, 2, here say 3, here 4. So this will be the, now alpha, again beta, gamma, it will beta butyrolectone or 1, 4 butanolite. So now, which type of compound they undergo and this process, that is the Con conversion of hi this hydroxy butyric acid, G gamma, gamma butyric acid, gamma hydroxy butyric acid into butyric electrolysis process of electronization. Electronization. So now, which compounds can be converted electrons? That is hydroxy acids. So now, when now coming to our point, now this is just basics. How the electronization take place? Which compound can undergo the electronization? So now, when this isolation was carried out, only lactone was obtained, not the carboxylic acid. When it was isolated, it was the lactone. Was, and we see it when the carboxyl hydroxy, actually this is the basic compound of hydroxy, hydroxy acid, like the, we saw in the, uh, the uh, ascorbic acid, vitamin C. It is always occurs in the lactone form. Also, this unsaturated hydroxy acid, which contains six carbon, but it normally lactonizes to form the lactone. So, spironolactone, uh, that is known as uh, this diuretic drug. These all are hydroxy compounds, hydroxy carboxylic acid, but easily they are lactonized. So, now when it was isolated compound, the compound was isolated lactone, not hydroxy acid. Then it was concerned, this is spontaneous. Lactonization may be interpreted as being produced from the gamma hydroxy acid or the, 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 the uh, we say this one lactone uh, here. So now we say this compound, it is hydroxy acid, it is converted into lactone. This lactonization takes place spontaneous. It, it may contain, normally we say it is gamma hydroxy acid. But you see, gamma. जी सर जी सर मुझे स्कीम जेकी जली वाला स्कीम जेकी वाला जी हली वो ट्रिब्यूक एसिड तय हली ट्रिब्यूक एसिड हां जेकी ता गाल करबे वो ता गाल करबे कीटो लैक्टोन के जेको अपन आइसोलेट कयो पे आई कीटो लैक्टेन जो फर्दर रिएक्शन कराई दासी वाली जेके ब्या कराई हां यो आजा इदे मो के खत्म को देखियो इसकी रखिए इंडिया स्ट्रक्चर ठान दो वरी अंजाल स्ट्रक्चर ठान उनके फर्दर पार्ट डिस्क्राइब द के उनके ने खत्म को देखियो ये हले पे वाला जनरल रिएक्शन ऑफ ऑल कार्बोजेरिक एसिड if they contain this group if they are treated with the sodium carbonate 
if the carboxylic acid they are treated with sodium carbonate always effervescence take place effervescence produced bubbles are produced and that bubbles those bubbles are produced due to the formation of carbon dioxide sodium carboxylate will be obtained plus carbon dioxide will be removed so this is the common reaction whenever just simply if you take whether the unknown compound contain the carboxylic acid or not simply we prepare the solution of sodium carbonate and dissolve it if the effervescence are produced it means the compound contain the, the carboxylic acid this is a simple test for the presence of carbon uh, carboxylic acid otherwise we can use also the litmus acid other test can be also used But this is just like the litmus test it's the chemical test litmus litmus test just you dip the litmus paper we will get the change in color here if you uh, sodium carbonate is very cheaper uh, chemical if you dissolve simple either you put solid compound into uh, into the carboxylic acid uh, unknown carboxylic acid if it is liquid if it is not liquid then prepare its solution and put the solution of sodium carb carbonate if the effervescence effervescence are produced effervescence with bubbles then it means it is carboxylic acid is present so now when this compound either 3 or 4 when it was obtained we say three keto hydroxy acid is convert, converted to electron and we saw when isolated the compound isolated compound when treated with the sodium carbonate then it showed no reaction no bubbling no bubble produced no effervescence were produced it means the compound was compound do not contain the carboxylic acid this reaction suggest proved that there is no carboxylic acid produced how that when you add the sodium bicarbonate sodium carbonate solution but when it was again this same compound it lecton it was you see uh, again this is the common reaction of lecton whenever they are treated with the alkalis aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide sodium potassium hydroxide like let me write here one simple reaction just just like the last time we write code here you know? beta hydroxy butyric acid like beta or lecton huh? here this the one of the lecton Uh, yeah, lecton. How you can define the lecton? Lectons are the compound in which carbonyl group is attached to the oxygen, and they may here this group is forming a part of ring. That is known lecton. And lectons actually, you see this this uh, this portion R here R we say O here C double bond here again R, and this is the again general formula of esters. So we say lactones are oolites. Lactones are also known as oolites. Oolites are lactones. They are corresponding this formula, and this formula is is for the esters. So we say lactones are oolites are esters, but they are a, a ring compound. That why we say these are the uh, cyclic esters. Lactones, lactones they are also known as cyclic esters. Now three names. So we say cyclic esters, lactones, oolites. Again, the electro electrolyzation is taking place. Esterification is taking place within the molecule. They are also known as the internal esters. So all these four names are for this compound. Either it's a lactone or oolites or internal esters or lactones, oolites, internal esters or cyclic esters. So these compounds are lactones are ethyl esters. So now again, this we have this ester. If you you see treat this ester with the sodium hydroxide, then what happens? Uh, what happens? De-electrolyzation will take place. Here, what happens? Breaking will take place. Or from here, here this compound will be converted into here sodium. See here here OH because the, we are using the sodium hydroxide. Sodium will be attached over here, and OH will be attached here. Sorry, uh, no. no. H will be here. No, no. Again, here O sodium here. Hmm? Alkaline hydrolysis will take place. So what happens? The original compound will be obtained. Sodium hydroxide will again react. If the original compound is of the carboxylic acid hydrolysis, then what happens? Carboxylic acid react with the sodium hydroxide to form the sodium salt. If you use the potassium hydroxide, potassium salt is obtained. So actually, what happens? The sodium hydroxide will be consumed. Our potassium hydroxide will be consumed. If if we say 
sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide is consumed by the reaction with the unknown compound then we say this compound is a containing carboxylic acid and if electron is there means some sodium is treated so we it could say sodium carboxylic plus the hydrogen will be attached with the oh or sodium also be reacted with the oh group sodium so uh, the alkoxide can be also obtained so now this when this compound was isolated and treated with the sodium carbonate no reaction was taking place but when it was reflux with the excess standard sodium uh, hydroxide or potassium hydroxide then again uh, treated uh, treated at back back titration they found the alkali was consumed and amount of alkali was directly proportional to one carboxylic acid one mole of carboxylic acid it means actually the one carboxylic acid group is present in the alpha terpenoid again i am repeating when this four compound was was it treated with the sodium carbonate no reaction was taking place it means there is no carboxylic acid. from this test it, the presence of carboxylic acid was not confirmed but when same keto electron it was reflexed with the standard solution of potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide and then back titrated that is whatever the amount of potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide was it uh, remained uh, 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 behind then it was obtained the amount some amount of sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide was consumed and this is due to the consumption of either due to the hydroxyl group we do know the there hydroxyl group is there and some some amount was neutralized to react with the carboxylic acid and from this reaction it was cons confirmed that this keto lactone is actually it is a lactone of keto hydroxy acid it is keto lactone of keto one of the we say it is gamma uh, we have to confirm that whether it is gamma or delta but it is the lactone of lactone of gamma or delta carboxylic acid now the last point is to confirm first you write the on the basis of the reactions it was suggested by valesh valash we said now if the alpha terpene you will given a structure like this one here ji ji sir circuit kal karo bhai jo ha bhai इलेक्ट्रॉन के पहरी मतलब ये ये कराया है सोडियम कार्बोनेट सा तो आज जो जो मतलब होते हैं कार्बोसाइलिक एसिड ग्रुप कौन हो ना सही सही हां सही उनका पो सर पाने के जो है रिफ्लेक्स कयो ए बैक टाइट्रेशन कराई हां हां बैक टाइट्रेशन कराए पो पाण जदे इनके वापसी रिएक्ट करायो तो पाण डठो तो कुछ अल्कली जो कुछ अमाउंट जो को वो कंज्यूम थियो जो को वन मोल ऑफ कार्बोसाइलिक के बराबर है सही सही उन मसर छा खबर भाई बाके त हकड़ो कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड मौजूद है जे बम मोल कंज्यूम थे ना त जो बक कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड हकड़ो मोल कंज्यूम थे ना हकड़ो कार्बोक्सिलिक दैट करस्पोंडिंग टू वन मोल ऑफ वन कार्बोक्सिलिक मोनो कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड जे दा कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड बक कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड जो बम मोल कंज्यूम थे ना जे को अमाउंट थो उन क्वांटिटेटिव टेस्ट ने केवी केतरा अमाउंट क्वांटिटेटिव अमाउंट खेवे त हकड़ो मोल कंज्यूम थो Is it one mole of sodium hydroxide can be consumed for the one mole of carboxylic acid? It it anwa jo ko jo ko jo ko amount the utro amount no jo ko hikre carboxylic acid la consume the. ठीक है इसे बताऊँ? Sir, हम वो जेकरे पार्ट दूसरों तो कीटो लक्टो ने ना कार्बोनाइल के रूप कंटेन कर दो पर कार्बोनाइल के रूप आखिर को वो टेस्ट कौन नहीं दोन सा गधे सोडियम कार्बोनेट सा गधे? वो कड़ी टेस्ट नहीं दो मतलब के ओन सागर का टेस्ट को नहीं अगर कार्बोसाइलिक एसिड पाड़ो कई है टेस्ट या कदे ऐसे ही पड़ी है फाइनल पे पता करे सोडियम कार्बोनेट का तारीशन करायो करे कार्बोनल कंपोन के हिसाब करायो है करे ना सर वो थी नहीं कुछ ये काम का है जी सर तो सोडियम कार्बोनेट रिएक्शन कंदो ही ना है सोडियम एको सोडियम पाड पा लास्ट टाइम के कड़ो के रिएक्शन यो के सोडियम हाइड्रोजन सल्फेट सोडियम हाइड्रोजन सोडियम बाय सल्फाइड याद है सोडियम बाय सल्फाइड का रिएक्शन किया उनमें सिर्फ अल्डिहाइड रिएक्शन करना या सम मीथाइल कीटोन्स वो दैट विल बी यूज्ड फॉर द आइसोलेशन एंड प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ अल्डिहाइड्स जगह मिक्सर कंपाउंड मौजूद है उनमें सोडियम बाय सल्फाइड भी जा दी 
the body sodium bisulfide of that aldehyde will be produced that will be solidified so if you just uh, filter out solid will be obtained and that solid will contain this bisulfide of that particular aldehyde other compound remain in the solution so once you get this solid compound then you dissolve and dilute hydrochloric acid then what happens the aldehyde original aldehyde will be regenerated and that re aldehyde regenerated uh, uh, will be present in the solution there will be two layers one layer will be aqueous layer another will be organic layer there so organic layer and aqueous layer can be separated by separating from it so organic layer will contain the but aldehyde the original aldehyde and you just discard the aqueous layer which contains the salt and other mixture so in this way sodium bisulfide can react with the aldehydes or certain some मीथाइल की कौन सी? अदरवाइज सोडियम कार्बोनेट जो किसे भी इतने कोने जगह कार्बोनेट का मॉड रिएक्शन करे, ठीक है? Now if you give the structure, this was the structure given by the Walsh to the uh, alpha terpenol. This was the proposed structure. Then the reactions were carried out. and that work they were confirmed that whether this compound can undergo this reaction or not now you see here compound this compound actually as i told you this two number this is tri hydroxy compound tri hydroxy compound tri hydroxy compound so now how you see here when this is treated with the actually what is happening hydroxylation i told you in the study Hydro hydroxylation take place. Correct. Now hydroxylation take place, and we will get here tri hydroxy compound. This contains the three hydroxy group. One one is the lead dye like there. Two are added across the double bond. Then it was further treated with the chromic acid, which was produced prepared by the dissolving sodium. Uh, 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 Chromium trioxide and acetic acid, then keto hydroxy acid, and this was the keto hydroxy acid. And this keto hydroxy acid was given in the formula like this one here. ये जो हेड तो लिखा हुआ है, जो keto hydroxy acid इस तरह के हेड तो लिखा, जगह आपको ने हेड तो लिखा, keto hydroxy acid. हाइड्रोक्सी ग्रुप फ्रॉम हिस्सर hydroxy group from here ketonic group uh, carboxylic acid from here ketonic group as remain as it is here the electronization take place this is alpha beta gamma so this is actually gamma as i told you there is possibility it may be gamma gamma hydroxy acid or delta hydroxy acid but from here you see when one alpha beta gamma 1 2 3 4 Electronization take place at this position. Here, this group remains as it is. At this carbon, we say here. These two methyl group remain as it is. This OH leave the carboxylic acid, and now this group. That this group, this will remain as it is. So at this position, we say here, 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 here. This compound is obtained. That is the keto lactone, which it gives the uh, the uh, say neutral test. This was the lactone when it was treated with the sodium bicarbonate. Sodium carbonate, there was no reaction. But once it is hydrolyzed, then it was converted again into. Uh, gamma 
butyric acid, this one, and this gave the test positive with the sodium hydroxide. And once this is obtained, this was the fourth. Now here fourth. Now then it was a warmed, warmed with the this uh, potassium permanganate. Then the compound obtained was terpy, terpy nilic acid and acetic acid. Terpy nilic acid, acetic acid. You know the formula. Let me write the terpy nilic acid. Here, terpy nilic acid. It's also also lactone. Same this lactone. Here. Methyl group. This terpy. Yes. Terpy nilic acid. Now here is the here is four five. Uh, this one five. And this was obtained along with the acetic acid. This compound you see contains the same number of carbon atom. But when was it treated with the again here potassium carbon? The compound was obtained which contains less carbon. As compared to the original compound, this was the terpy nilic acid plus acetone. Now here you see I have to consider something. Now you see here now since the four, four is four is four, four, four is formed from two. With the four is formed from two. Two is this one. Two is this one. That is trihydroxy carbonyl acid. So now we say this electron is formed from the two. Third is here in intermediate between these two intermediate. So now this four is formed from two here by cleavage of glycol bond. Here this is glycol bond. So this reaction mechanism or reaction scheme, it was considered that this electron was formed by the cleavage cleavage of or breaking of glycol bond and since there is no loss of carbon atom here same number of carbon here in, in, in here the cleavage take place the number of carbon is decreased because when acetic uh, acid was produced but here same number of carbon atom is there so now therefore the we say we consider that the double bond is lying inside the ring this process confirmed there the double bond is lying because glylic bond, there is glylic bond, the bond, bond a glylic bond is breaking take place here. And the glylic bond, how the glylic bond was formed? By the addition of hydroxylation. This is hydroxylation, hydroxylation, hydroxylation take place at the double bond, and double bond was present in the inside the ring. Again, we said on warming with potassium permanganate, gave acetic acid here, phyllis, terpenoic acid. And that is C8, C8H12O4, 5 compound. Farming of, formation of acetic acid by this reaction. That is, it is a confirmation that the compound contains the methyl ketone. And this is the general reaction. Wherever the compounds, this type of compounds are present, if they are treated with the potassium permanganate alkaline, then always the acetic acid is produced. And formation of acetic acid. Formation of acid suggests that the here, uh, 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 here acidic acid, the, this compound is electron is meth methyl. This compound contains this group, that is ketonic group, and this group normally we can say acetyl group. So this compound contains the acetyl group because methyl ketone, if by using the Reaction of alkaline potassium permanganate if the acetic acid is produced along with other compounds. This is the indication that the compound containing methyl ketone. And this formation is confirmed when the acetyl methyl ketone means this ketone. Normal variety CH3. Now, whatever the group is attached along with this one, we know, but at least this group is present in the compound. This is the confirmation by the, uh, the due to the formation of acetic acid now 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 from this we say ketone this ketone what is ketone is happen it is now we say it is a homo terpenyl methyl ketone this one this one homo terpenyl methyl ketone 
होमो टर्फिनाइल मिथाइल कीटोन अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग होमो टर्फिनाइल मिथाइल कीटोन बट वी कैन गिव द नेम पर्टिकुलर नेम हियर जस्ट यूज होमो टर्फिनाइल मिथाइल कीटोन अकॉर्डिंग टू द बुक इन द बुक यू फाइंड दिस नेम बट देयर आर अदर नेम्स हाउ इज इट हियर इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर अल्फा बीटा गामा आर से वन वन टू थ्री फोर and this whole group will be the branch so without this we say it is gamma gamma dimethyl butyrolactone or 44 dimethyl 14 butyrolate only at this beta carbon or three carbon there is this group and this group is 1 2 3 4 now this this four group is known as you see two If you start from here, one, two, three, four, three oxo butyl. So with the three at three position in bracket, two oxo butanoil, a uh, two oxo a uh, two oxo butyl, four four dimethyl, one four butanolite. Uh, this will be the uh, I can name of this compound. Otherwise, we call it homo terpenoil methyl ketone. and the structure assigned to it has been confirmed by the synthesis one of the scientists who confirmed this the, the compound was synthesized by carried out Simmons in at all in 1932 the formation of this uh, the, the homoterpenoid methyl ketone once this was confirmed then the structures were of terbic acid as well as now there are two steps more in which we can confirm the structure of terbic acid And terpenoic acid, uh, uh, terpenoic acid. The, there are two uh, senses are used to confirm the structure of this. Then finally, now we are not doing the structure of this one. Now directly, whatever the structure we have this suggested, we will do the now next time. Next time, structure of senses of alpha terpenoin because there is no less time. Less time. Otherwise, we will do the senses of to confirm the structure of terpenoic acid as well as terpenoic acid. So now, now directly. will we'll ne next time inshallah with the synthesis of alpha terpenoin there will be a few time then we will continue the for came for also is it okay for the time to go now will go for one now and by the sense of one that time in the chalega in the alag synthesis but the structure confirm color by synthesis in the terpenoic acid there will be no that go chalega direct pan karna no do synthesis hai unko karna next time theek hai theek hai okay